All right, what's happening, everybody? I want to holler at you about what you're doing for a driver nowadays. <laughs> I know. I know that's the question you've been asking yourself. So I'm going to start out. Um, we're talking about these LD Moss. Again, everybody's talking about LD Moss. I got you. Um, let me clarify one thing, though. I'm not taking those Russian pallets putting those in my amp, showing you crazy numbers and selling them to you. Now, let me let me say that right out the gate. Put a low-pass filter on one of them bastards and your watts cut by about 40 to 50%. So I just want to make sure. I think some people thought that's what I was doing. I just want to clarify that. Now, what I, why I'm bringing this up is this. I used to build a lot of drivers and sell them for people, tube drivers, but I think we've reached a tipping point. And what that, what that means is these LD Moss started out, when I first got into them, it was like 15 or something like that. I forgot what the first one I built. The car, it didn't make sense cost-wise. It really didn't. Um, so I got a call today about a GU84, which is a, a nice little Tetra. Me and Sneaky Pete have talked about that a few times. And when I went to price out a GU84, which is really, you know, it'll peak at about 5,000 if you throw a Yesu in it, but Honestly, people use it as a driver, which means they're going to peak around, you know, 2,500, 3,000, run it low, about a 500 watt carrier. Then I start thinking about it. All these LD Moss tests I be doing for people, I always try to max them out and, ooh, look at this, ooh, look at that, instead of real world scenarios. So what I'm going to do today is test this thing the way you would run it as a driver. Um, so anyway, what I did is I set this four up just like a two. It's a four transistor, um, BL BLF-188s XR. The third transistor, when I put this thing together, which is the reason I kept it, I was going to build it for somebody else, but when I had that problem, I decided, okay, I might have to do something a little different. <laughs> so I kept this one. What's the problem? Is that when I cut my spreaders, for the first two and then the second two, they're side by side. That's why you see the fans where they're at up there. On the third transistor, I use a different template. I use the template for the block that you can buy from the manufacturer that just kind of bolts them down and lets them loose. Well, the problem with that is it moves those holes in closer to the body of the transistor. When you screw it down, now it picks up half of the transistor. But these things are so durable, who cares? I'm going to run it like that anyway. So... Basically, the third transistor is not all the way sitting on, this, on the uh, heat sink. Basically, I'm taking this little thing. Now, when I run my striker, it takes this wide open. I wouldn't advise running it like that, especially as a driver. And I mean, do you take your 3CX 3000 and run it at 10 bushels and swing backwards? I don't think so. So what I'm trying to do is get people out of this whole key and zero watts and oh, you know what I mean? And then show these crazy numbers and then they expect those numbers or whatever. You get what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to give you real world, the carrier and the swing together, talking regular, all right? Oh, sometimes it helps when the damn power is on, right? There you go. All right, so the way I usually do these, like this right here is going to be a switch that when it's on, this is going to change over to voltage. So that's just a matter of me being too lazy to do it. And that is the enemy of the LD Moss, is heat. So that was the first thing I wanted to monitor, which is the reason I wasn't selling any yet. So this is, like I said, four BLF 188 XRs. One's kind of crippled, but no excuses. I won't need that excuse. Trust me when I tell you that. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to switch to this camera. Now this one has latency. See this? Now watch this. One, two, three. Four. See that? So it has latency. This camera only. Um, all right. So I'm keying a half a watt. Uh, do I have the audio on? No, I don't. Okay, so keying a half a watt, and I'm swinging to about oh five watts. RMS. All right, swinging 5 watts RMS. Okay, so I have a 5KW slug in the back 
of that dummy load, All right? So that's how we're hooked up right now. We got a uh, bird meter on the top. There's only one hooked up because obviously there's only, you know, single ended line section, all right? Dummy load is uh, basically a PAL star 5K. And don't get on me about my dummy load. I got this big bird I bought through my boy in Idaho and he got it through some dude down south. But it's got a three and one eighth inch line section. And I got to bring that down to a PL259. Kiss my entire black one. <laughs> All right, so let's get down. All right, we're going to monitor the heat, but let's go over to the meters first. Let's see what we get with a half a watt. I don't really know. I forgot, tell you the truth. That's a 5K scale. Um, let me go to a 500 scale right quick. All right. Yeah, that's pretty low. I don't know, 100 watts or so. Something like that. All right. You see it. Let's go to the 5K. Ooh. So this is a... Uh, ooh. Shh. Shh. So that dummy load is actually... It, it is reading peak. But this ain't. All right, now we got 5K peak up top, 5K peak down, down low, and let's look at both of them. Ooh. Ooh. Most bird peaks respond to bottom end. That's why when you go, you got less on the bird than when you go, ooh. So, um, but this here is how most people test amps. They turn them all the way down, and then they really try to impress you with key down time, and then they start telling you they went to the school of RF. I still haven't seen that school yet. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this thing up a tad bit. I'm going to take it to one watt. All right. Go back over to these meters. One watt carrier. And I believe we're on a, yeah, we're on a 5K scale right now. That's about 400 watts, somewhere in there. Ooh. Shh. Now with me, this is about where I would run my, um, run my driver, about four or 500 watts. Then let's dial it up some. All right, and like I said, you probably, the cats that be um, chicken hawking on, on uh, RF videos all over the internet, looking for outrageous stuff. This ain't outrageous stuff, this is for people to do some talking. I ain't talking about people to be sitting around on the dummy load. <laughs> Have company come by and everybody's sitting around on the, looking at the dummy load. All right, so um, I'm gonna give you some, well, let's take, you know what, well, let's just do this part and get it over with. So this is a, um, let's take the radio up, it's wide, wide open. Okay, that's wide open, five watts. All right, so now I'm gonna get some real world stuff. Oh, let's do the five watt key right quick. So everybody's happy, they'll see it. All right, so five watts is all this radio can do. And like I said, here we go. Just short of 2000 watts. Now. Why are we just short of 2,000 watts? I wonder if it'll modulate any further. Let me see if the radio, see if the radio goes further first. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> oh wait, let's give it more audio. Ooh, okay, we got a little more, there we go. Ooh, all right. So, let's go back to our meters at 2,000 watts, roughly. Let's see if we can still go forward because the radio's out of gas. Ooh. Shh. Ooh. Still getting pretty much where it was. Note, radio is out of gas, not the amplifier. You guys see what I'm trying to do now? 
this amplifier is nowhere near out of gas at a 2,000 watt carrier, right? You get up around 4,200, okay, but why? Because this ain't, they're not as durable as tubes. I don't care what nobody tells you. They are if you cut the coax on the output, if you're stupid enough to do that, but they can be overdriven pretty easily, which is why you want a little attenuator on them, even when I'm running this, this uh, Barefoot 29. Well, it ain't barefoot when I keep it, you get the point. Um, but, so this is basically, this basically re replaces the Tetro as a driver. But let's get in, let's get on the real world talking, man, enough of this. I get, I get sick of people, hello, hello, hello. I'm gonna act like I'm talking to somebody. Oh, let me, let me stop, I always do this in every video because I got respect for the cats that came before me, the cats are doing it at the same time. What's up with you, 418? 418, hot technician right now, y'all. He's hot, he's hot. Check him out. 418, what's up with you, man? Some of my antenna builders out there, I'm gonna holler at y'all, say hello to you. Motor mouth, you crazy, I see what you're doing down there. <laughs> but uh, my next video will be on antennas, um, and I really wanna talk to people about antennas, because, okay, I'll deal with that later. Um, who else we got? What's up, what's up in driver's room? Let me get in pal talk for a minute. What's, I know I can't speak to Ike, because I heard he left the room or something got kicked out or something like that. I don't know. Uh, none of my business. But what's up with you, Ike, if you're listening? That's my homie there. Budweiser down in Tennessee. I know you ain't in pal talk often, man, but I'm going to still holler at you. You're going to be all right, bro. You know what I'm talking about. I'm going to call you today, as a matter of fact. It is July 4th. Um, small driver, you running that room right because everybody's loving it. Juice, I know you up in there acting like you ain't. Uh, BBI, I know BBI in there acting like he working, but he, he ain't working, y'all. He be listening to you. He say he ain't listening to you, but you know, he listening to you. <laughs> um, who else up in there? Tiptoe. What's up with you, Tiptoe? I know Tiptoe's up in there, talking a little sheet. And um, my boy Ghetto Kid. Ghetto Kid, the funniest cat in Pal Talk. That's my dude right there. ICA Manufacturing, I'm going to give you guys props because, man, I ordered some stuff. I love those trombone capacitors you can put in your, your um, solid state amps. Yeah, and they didn't send me these big Teflon chimneys for them 15s and 10s. Gotta love it. Um, now, slave boy, I mean, uh, black boy. Yeah, slave boy too. Black boy, it's your turn now, bro. Me and you gonna have a conversation. Let me, uh, let me bring this carrier down. I'm, I'm gonna drop a hammer and then I'm gonna bring it on down. I don't know, I think that's about 400 something. All right, so. Me and black boy shooting skip. I'm going to give you, this is the real world test, bro. Me and black boy shooting skip. Black boy's in Florida. He's in that devastating mobile. The greatest of all time. The biggest ghost rider ever. Although I think it was small driver. But the biggest ghost rider ever. And black boy's talking. Rolling down the interstate. He liked to roll on 95. You know, like them dough boys used to do back in the 90s. So here you go. He's shooting Skip. This is how this might go. Black boy is going to keep, you know, black boy talk fast too. Prominent to black boy. Prominent, look at black boy, look at black boy, look at black, 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 look at black boy, black boy, black, 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 black. Then he paused and he read that motor. Black, 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 boy gone. Now it's my turn. Take your time, black boy. Don't even worry about it, man. Just talk. Ain't no reason to run. Keep it fun. Hey, black boy, I got good news and I got bad news. The good news is your mobile's talking. The bad news is 12 gauge and swamp weed both keyed on your ass. 12 gauge cut your noggin clean off and ran it down the road. And now weed's trying to find it, man. You look nasty. Blood all over your face. It's like a goddamn tomato rolling down the street with some black lips on it. You just gotta make stuff up when you're trying to just show off a key. So this is the average key, right? Black boy, for me at least. And you, you know, you finish doing it. Your driver, you're probably cruising 10 bushels right here. Oh, and you're peaking about probably 35. Think I'm lying, I can show you in the house if you want me to. But that's what I'm doing. Hello, black boy, minister got down. Now, let's go look at this heat. You see that third transistor I was telling you about? See how it's not showing a lot of heat? 
because it ain't all the way down in the heat sink. And I'm measuring at the heat sink. Not at the heat sink, but at the spreader next to the transistor. Um, so that was like a typical key for me. And um, I'm ready to get back on it, right? So black boy, you done keyed, and we do it again. You know, hey, uh, Tinra, you black boy. You said I got keyed on, man. I heard you say I got keyed on. Well, I'm going to take this cap and make it to the pump. Tell that boy I done stepped up in it now. Hey, black boy, tell that boy I stepped up in it a little bit, man. Uh, you want some more? Look at that. That's that 25 kW hammer right there. Hello, black boy, prime minister in the pump house. Got down. See what I mean, black? That's how I think you guys should use these. Except for my good friend on the West Coast. I ain't going to say what state he's in because y'all know who he is. I ain't going to say it's Arizona. But except for him. Why? He is going to use one as a final. How many transistors? It won't be these type of transistors at all. Nope. It won't be these. It'll be them 65 volt. Eight of them. He wants to throw a 10 grand carrier and back it down and comfortably peak at 10 grand. I said consider it done. However, one thing I ain't going to do is use switching, power, switching power supplies for a damn eight transistor 65 volt. Man, that'll sound like a riot going off on your radio. All right, y'all. I'm done. I just want to show you that. I got to run. Uh, number one, I'm back on your stuff. Like I said, all the parts came in, man. The cabinet is in. I got your diode strung up. Getting ready to uh, design the bottom plate for that transformer. So anyway, y'all, be good. Um, peace and chicken grease. I will see you with the next video. It'll be about antennas because I got a couple cats out there trying to go in on antennas. Catch you come later. Prime Minister. Prime Minister got down. Click.